The United States is pressuring countries, as you heard, around the world to use full body scanners at their airports. Germany just started testing the machines at one to stop using the scanners. Italy is going in the same direction, saying they're simply too slow and ineffective. Jim Harper from the Cato Institute joins us now live to talk about this. Jim, I mean, the point here is simple, right? We have to go through the shoe thing. We have to go through the liquid thing. Depending on what country you're coming from to the United States, they don't have to. What, what's the point here? Well, I think the secretary is trying to harmonize international standards at a very high level. Uh, countries are debating what the appropriate standard is, uh, whether we should use these so-called strip, strip search machines around the world. They provide a small margin of security at a very high cost of privacy risk and a lot of delay at the airports. So do, we, not... do we have the power to influence this body? It looks like countries are going in the opposite direction. Well, we, we have some influence. The National Civil Aviation Organization has a, a lot of funding from the United States, a lot of U.S. people there. Uh, but whether uh, countries around the world are willing to do this essentially for us is a different question. The U.S. doesn't have a very good reputation around the world in terms of security, and so there will be a lot of foot dragging if the secretary tries to push this too hard with countries around the world. Do you think that perhaps we have overreacted with legislation? We heard from passengers there that said they feel safer, but then if you recognize what other countries are going through, they're not necessarily safer. One of the goals of terrorism is to get target states to overreact, and so when we do, we're actually uh, playing, playing along with that game. And so it's very important to be clinical, to be careful about things, obviously to secure the country, but not to go too far. And we're having a debate in this country right now about whether these strip search machines are a step too far. Uh, if, if, if we go down the strip search machine route, there's going to be more methods of concealment, and we certainly don't want the TSA looking there. Well, I mean, I guess the question would be then, is the only way to get back to perhaps the old normal as opposed to the new normal if technology catches up so that we have better ways to screen us so that we don't have to take off the shoes we don't have to throw away our, our you know perfume cologne that kind of stuff we have in our carry-on bags the solutions will come from a variety of quarters in addition to improved technology uh, better u.s. relations around the world intelligence work around the world that prevents terrorists from coming our way uh, all these layers of security will have to improve it's not a given that we should use uh, the strip search machines. All right. Jim Harper with the Cato Institute. We thank you for your time. Thanks for coming in tonight.